god, that's hot. Oh, that's good. Oh. Shits coffee. Yes, I call it shits, not sheets. Any coffee is shits. It's just shits because it gives you the shits. <laughs> but, um, my name is Caleb Long. I am the smoking fool. Sorry, we just woke up. A little late. Yeah, we're a little late getting on the road. Um, we're going up to look at the land that we're in contract for that we'll be purchasing because she's never seen it. I'm going to show my father. Because every time he's gone up, I've had to work. So, yeah. It's just nice to go look at it, see what I'm working so hard for, put it into perspective. Um, we're also going to stop at an RV place, so you'll be able to see that while uh, today. So this video is going to be long-ish. I'm not going to say an hour long, probably not. <laughs> but it'll be longer. I was going to say, all of our videos are long-ish. <laughs> it'll be longer than half hour, probably. More like 45 minutes, so I apologize if you don't like long videos. But for those of you who always watch my videos, always stick all the way through it, I greatly appreciate y'all. Um, y'all are kind of why I do this. Uh, I just... It's fun for me, and it's fun to hear the feedback and everything. So, yeah. Oh, in the natural ring, I would have said in the video that... Last week's video didn't get uploaded till last night. For and some last, reason, last night was Friday. Yeah. It was just, for some reason, the video split. Which, I still can't figure out why it split. It shouldn't have done that. She, and she didn't have time this week to come over and edit the video together, yeah. so yeah. But in that video, I smoked a, a true estate natural China 5. And, and I, I mentioned smoke. I had a natural ring. Um, there it is. It's not gonna fucking focus, but I'm the only one with a natural ring in the entire world. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty it happy, I'm pretty stoked. It's all shined up and fit into his finger now. Yeah, um, it fit on my finger before. It was just a bitch to get on and off. It was a size two, the size or two too small. I think it was two sizes small. Um, yeah. yeah, I had it two sizes small. Um, I don't know. My finger must have been fucking really small because my fingers swell a lot. So this ring fits very comfortable. It's not loose. It's not tight. It's perfect. Um, fits around my knuckle. But, uh, I was going to smoke a cigar on the way up on this video. And we were just going to do a uh, pipe review. Uh, not a pipe review, a tobacco review out of a pipe later. Uh, but I forgot any form of cutter or knife to cut my cigar. So, yeah, we're not gonna smoke that but I did break out my vape this week I do vape occasionally Beautiful. I started weaning myself off smoking about 2013 beginning of 2013 end of 2012 um, I remember that pretty vividly I was up to two packs a day um, of uh, Paul Malls, uh, Reds. <laughs> so, fuck, it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Um, yeah, I'm in the car, and this motherfucker has some heat. Uh, as I said in the video we just did last night, um, the Jeep is for sale. I'm not gonna be driving it anymore. I need the money for the land and pay off some bills, so. And we have a, we need a truck. I need a bigger truck. I need something that's good. The Jeep lasts me a while, but back to the vape shit. Um, I, once I realized I was up to two packs a day, I was just like, you know what? I need to stop smoking. It, it's, for a long time there, I didn't call smoking a pipe, I mean, or a cigar, smoking. I called it herfing, um, because that's pretty much what you call it when you're in a group of people when you smoke a cigar. It's called a giant herf. 
it's just called a herf when you're with somebody. Um, but I just called it herfing when I was by myself because I wanted to distinguish against smoking um, a pipe or a... Because I did smoke pipe back in 2013. That was when I first got into it. wasn't really into it that much. Um, I had a really shitty corn cob pipe. It was not a Meerschaum. I mean a Missouri Meerschaum corn cob. Um, and yeah, I, I mostly smoked cigars at that point. I smoked a lot of Drew Estate. I was trying a lot of different other brands um, at the time. Uh, I just found Asylum cigars, so I was smoking a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried it. You keep getting lower and lower with the camera. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> oh, hey, that's pretty comfortable. Um, we need a stand in here. <laughs> we my need a fucking arms. selfie stick. I have a selfie stick. It's half broken, so I glued it back together. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna say I did not buy it. It was sent to me in a prize I won. It was a whole box of fun shit. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I started vaping when those uh, little, little vape pens were still very popular. I started from the little fucking shit ones and now I'm up to this thing. I have my uh, J-Bo mod. It has three batteries in it. Um, and then I have my, uh, fuck, I can't even say that. I think it's, yeah, Tobacco. It, I think it's a Tobacco brand. Um, it's a, uh, oh, fuck, what is it called? Super Tank Turbo. This motherfucker has awesome beer flow. We just went over a bridge. <laughs> I'm like bouncing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, several bridges. Um, yeah, I wasn't dripping for a while. Uh, I had stopped pretty much smoking everything at that point when I was dripping. Um, don't drip now. I break this out when I feel the urge to smoke cigarettes. I've been stressed out lately. So, I have felt the urge. So it's time to break the vape back out. I am baking. Baking. <laughs> I am not awake, motherfuckers. No. You know, and anybody who watches knows I can't speak any other fucking time. It's even worse in the morning. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Vaping. 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 My, my arm hurting. I am vaping King Cloud Lunar Harvest. And at that, she's holding up her other arm, so we're gonna get that fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, raising my other arm. <laughs> we need to buy her a selfie stick yes. first. Alright. Alright. We will catch y'all back in a few. <laughs> this one's nice. It's on the smaller side. I mean, it has a heater. It does have a fridge that has a freezer in it. I mean, your TV goes right here. And then you have your AC. What? It sleeps four. Counter space. Counters aren't terrible. This is a new model though. Little tub. <laughs> and this is the what? It the... is this Hummerland. The used one is only a grand less, so you might as well buy new. We really like this one. I'm going to go into the bedroom first. This one's a little pricey, but it's really nice. TV mounting bracket right there. really like these counters. They're actually solid. They're like a, uh, like a good plastic cutting board style material. Nice fucking shower. Plenty of space. And then the throne right there in the corner. And there's a door that can go here. Door there. TV right here. Um, it actually has table and chairs. It has a couch. 
has an oven, nice fridge, that, and then loungers. They're pretty comfy. She loves it. Like, if we were going to live in a camper, this is like perfect size for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, we went from the Diamond Series just to the regular ultralights, but this one's more my style. Um, not for like li live. Well, I could live in one of these. Pretty comfy, actually. It's got the galley kitchen, which is nice. Um, the fridge is here. Storage. That turns into a bed, but it's nice. Really fucking nice seating. You got this. Your TV is up there, but that's your master bed right there. Reason being, let's go to the back room. It is a fucking travel trailer. You have two bunks back here. I put my fucking motorcycle right here. I am good to go. Oh, hell yeah. Even a TV goes back here. You can work on the shit. Got tool storage. Bathroom's a pretty nice regular RV bathroom, but it's an Outback, so yeah. This one's an even smaller model. Um, oh, storage there. The bedroom is open, but can be closed. Pretty cool. I love on our list we've been going down from the sprinters from the 29, the 27, and the 26, and they're all starred. Yeah, well, I mean, if I was going to, like, I, I talk about living in one the past couple of videos, but it's like, uh, we just want to travel in life. I mean, we like the motorcycle we're not going to own any many fucking new vehicles if any at all it's just we want to focus our money on more fun and enjoyment than rather have huge ass payments yeah but you may be on <laughs> but this one's really nice too even as a fucking oven i i do like this one with finding one that i really like that's a bigger one now, granted, these are out of our price range right now, but... Actually, they're only about 10, out, 10 grand out of our price range. Actually, we could get one of these. We just wouldn't get a new fucking car. But, oh my god. Like, seriously? These are better than some people's apartments. Believe me, I, I lived in kind of a shitty apartment before. Yeah. It wasn't the greatest, but I mean, it's just pretty fucking good. The bedroom's not as spacious, but for me, that's not as big of a fucking deal. Because the bedroom for me is mostly just for sleeping at this point in time. I like being in a living room or something. It's so much nicer, and that's what this is. And the reason I like this one kind of a little better, because somebody else could sleep where this table is. That's a bed right there. Most of them are beds. But I don't like the whole table and chairs thing if it's in the fucking RV, because that shit bangs around. This one I really like. Really like the color scheme, too. I'm corrected on one that looks like a uh, house. Um, This one's pretty nice. This one's definitely really, really nice. You got couch here, table, lazy boy. And then it actually has a fucking corner kitchen. I if I, I stand corrected. If I was gonna fucking live in one, this is the one because I love to cook. And anybody who knows me knows I love to cook. Ooh. We'll go look in the bathroom. Toilet's in the corner again, but still Thanks a nice shower. It's a nice sink. Nice there. There's some storage behind that door. You got the bedroom. I like the bedroom. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I like the bedroom. First one we seen. A with fucking bar. A bar. I like it. This is the fifth wheel series. This is getting way out of our fucking price range. It's fun to look at. We're only towards the last of the trailers, too. Yeah. Very nice. Nice.
Meh. Same bathroom as all the other fifth wheels. Same bedroom too. It's nice. Yeah. And we're back. It's the next day. Um, you can tell it's a little sunnier today. Yeah. It's not raining. We um. Gone. Yeah, we went to the RV show. You'll see us. In not a the RV show. We're not the RV show. Um, Just we the went RV up place. to uh, Lurch RV up off uh, 322 in uh, northern, well, central Pennsylvania. True central Pennsylvania. Um, man. Um, yeah, we went and looked at the land. We didn't really get video of that. There's not much to show. It's just empty plot full of a cleared space, a drive, a uh, dirt driveway, and full of yeah. trees. A lot of overgrown weeds. Um, I said we were going to get to a review. And here it is. I'm smoking out of my, uh, Dagner pipes. Corn cob pipe, I think. I do it by average a day to tell how many bowls I've done it, how many days a week I've smoked. It's been about a total of two weeks. I haven't smoked this pipe worth of days. Um, it's got almost 250 bowls in it and it's still really fucking it's got a long ways to go but that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this end of this video is to review cult profile it's probably fucking backwards because it's backwards for me um It's one of my more favorite of the newer Colt blends. It's uh, really nice. Um, we'll start off with the smell. I get like a, uh, a light hazelnut smell to it. Sorry, a uh, muscle car. One of my neighbors drives is about to pass by. That is a nice car. Oh, it's a woman driving it. Yeah, it's hers. I'm not good with saying what smells are. It smells good. Yeah, it's it's very light, but it's like a very light hazelnut. It's not as strong as hazelnut, but it's nutty. Yeah, it is. It's nice. not like a peanut butter style nut. It's more like a hazelnut style mm, nut. Peanut butter. I, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and when you smoke it, it's just a uh, mild tobacco. Um, it, it's listed as an aromatic. I get no aromatics about it. I like it's just basic tobacco taste. Um, out of it. I don't really get anything that punches you in the mouth right away. It's nothing that stands out. It, it smokes very similar to how it smells. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of that nuttiness following through, but there is some of it, not much. Other than that, I just get the Virginias out of it. I get a, a fair amount of Virginias and I think some Cavendish that I taste and that's about it. I don't really get anything else. It's just a good, clean, mild tobacco. Um, wouldn't really say it's anything special about it, but um, I do know it was in limited supply on um, pipes and cigars, and I'm more than positive it's still sold out. Uh, it was a limited run, from what I understand. 
Um, they were just trying to get the tobacco out on the market before the ruling happened. So I bought it a couple, like a week before the ruling. And like after the ruling, basically everybody, and I, shortly after I, I posted my video, I noticed everybody was going out and buying this tobacco. Um, it was just, yeah, everybody was trying to get a hold of it. They were, it, I don't know. You know, we can get a hold of it now. I know that. I gave some of my pipe tobaccos to uh, Jason Dagner. A little bit of all the Colts that I had that, uh, damn it, what is his name? Um, I can't think of his name. He's one of the big Cobb modders on Instagram. Um, I remember his tag is JWK um, and then four numbers. Son of a bitch. If somebody knows who the hell I'm talking about, fucking tag. Comment in the thing below because I am drawing a blank. I was just watching one of his Instagram videos. It's like, come on. Or when we find it, we'll put it in the comment section. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a, what the fuck is that? That's a, a stink goddamn bug. stink bug. Fucker flew right into my back of my head. And you waved him over to me. I don't like shit crawling on me. Well, that guy almost turned in front of another guy. That was close. That's fucking... I hate people. I hate... I don't hate all people, but I hate people behind the wheel. Um, as all y'all know, I ride a motorcycle. I have my CDL. Drive my Jeep everywhere. People are assholes. They are road raging worse than ever. They don't give a shit about bikes. They don't give a shit about anybody else. All they care about is fucking themselves. They fucking cut you off worse than ever. And I've seen a steady fucking increase, and this year is the worst so far. Wait till the winter. It's, it's like be fun. I've almost been run over several times. I've almost been run off the road several times. It's starting to fucking piss me off. Yeah. Even motorcycles are fucking cutting off other goddamn motorcycles or running up their asses. I understand if you like see Sons of Anarchy or you see like a MC or a Riders Club, and you want to ride close to somebody. I can understand that. But if you don't know that fucker, you stay the fuck back. You stay the fuck back at least two car lengths. And you stay to the right of him, not directly behind him. And you sure as shit don't run up on his ass on a hairpin turn, especially if the turn says 10 miles an hour, because it's over a 90 degree turn. Had that happen the last time I fucking rode, and it's pissing me off. Who's this guy? Speaking about cars, here's another car. This looks like a... That was a nice old car. Um, Corvette? No, it was a Ford. It was a. It was with an old Ford Shelby car. Um, it was pretty. It's a nice day. Everyone's got them out. It's gorgeous out, out actually. When we get to drive to Harrisburg after this, go to dinner with my mom and her girlfriend. So I'm excited about that. Fuck! I can't even remember the goddamn car. I just can't remember shit today. But what's your rating on the tobacco? My rating on tobacco, eight. Just because there's nothing really special about it. It's a good, solid tobacco. But there's nothing that like stands out and hits me in the mouth. It leaves a pleasant aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah, that's why I kind of give it an eight. I mean, it's not bland in no way. I mean, it's something I can smoke, but it, I'm not going to smoke it all the time. And I generally give tobaccos the benefit of the doubt. So, um, if I if I do say below like an eight or a seven, um, or even a six, then there's probably something that I distaste about the tobacco. But this one's a pretty good one. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. We gotta finish getting ready to go up to her mom's to have dinner. As you can see, this is all I got left, and this is very loose, and this is a very small jar. 
This isn't even... It's about a 10 ounce jar. And this is after I... It's not a 10 ounce jar. It's a 3.7 ounce jar. But here's the thing. This is the tobacco not compressed down. When you get it in a tin, you get almost two ounces worth of tobacco and it's compressed. This is light and airy. And I do this to all my tobacco. Put it on my jar. <laughs> that was smart. Yeah, not so funny. Funny for me. Shut up! Ew. I love you too. Alright, well. We gotta get going. We gotta clean up before we go. Um, well, I mean, we already showered, but we gotta clean up our mess. So. Uh, Throw a little laundry in. As always, YouTube. Like, subscribe. You don't have to. This is all for fun. Have a good fucking day.